Hello everyone, you all guys are listening to me on an academy online platform. This is the seventh lesson of biology series for all examinations. As I spoke in you guys, this lecture will be enough for all the examination like one day exam to civil service exams. Overall, I can tell you from the clerk level to UPSC level of examination, this entire series will be very beneficial to all of you. This is the entire English medium class that I have developed for all of you guys for one day and civil services, every level of examinations. So let us start in here in this lesson, I will discuss with you five kingdom system of classifications. Myself is Ravi Agrahi and you guys are listening to me on Academy online platform. I'm working as a director of Purvanchal IS at Gorakhpur where I'm providing you the face to face classes. From last 20 years, I'm taking classes for civil service examination and two subjects I'm teaching guys. One is on science and technology, second is on environment. And my board two books published on the micro that is highly recommended to all of you for civil services examination. My telegram channel you can see on the screen where you can find out all, all the entire PDF and video links. My academy profile where you can find out my all the in, entire academy classes plus courses iconic subscription a part of many free special classes. My code is UPSC during joining any courses. If you use it, you will get extra 10% discount in your fee structure. Why an academy is the best option? We are providing with the widest choice of educators, unlimited views of lectures, flexibility changes of courses, live mentorship, 178 plus toppers even crack UPSC in 2021 under the guidance of an academy. India's best educator for UPSC, CSE, they all are available at an academy in the live lessons. So it's a great opportunity to all of you to collect all of them. An academy is giving you the plus iconic subscriptions in the various months duration of time. So it's a great opportunity to all of you kindly join it as soon as possible and get extra fees discount with the code of Ravi UPSC. So finally, we are here into the seventh lecture of biological science. And the topic is a five kingdom system of classifications. Actually, whenever we are going to do the discussion of any of the organisms, so arrangement of organisms are very important. Biological science means study of living beings. If I ask you guys, what kind of organisms are available? So there are different, different way to categorize the organisms. There are different, different way to describe the organisms. But the point is there, any systematic organizations are there. In this case, many scientists even tried. And one of the scientists, even as an ecologist, as an environmentalist, as a biologist, I can tell you, Whitaker, Whitaker, Whitaker name also come in the ecology part, guys. He has given the five kingdom system of classification. And here on the basis of five kingdom system, he has defined all the entire organism on the basis of their own characteristics. And it is highly valid kingdom system of classification. Sometimes even, even in, I have seen in the many of the examinations, directly as the examiner asks, which person has given the five kingdom of classification? Send the answer is a Whitaker. So what about a five kingdom system of classification? How it will help us to understand entire organisms? You can see here on the screen. Five kingdom system of classification here you can see like Monera, Protesta, Fungi, Planti and Animalia. So these are five kingdoms that uh, Whitaker even proposed. So Whitaker proposed why not we classify the all living beings. Living organism means plant, animal and microorganisms into five kingdom system. And these all five kingdom system, again, I repeat, Monera, Protesta, Fungi, Planti, and Animalia. Now the question is, what is the criteria behind the all five kingdom system of classification where all entire living organisms are coming? So now here, that is depend on the cell structure. What about the body organizations? What about the mode of reproduction and nutrition? And what about the phylogenetic relationship? Cell structure means prokaryotic cell or eukaryotic cells. Body organism means it's unicellular or multicellular. Mode of nutrition is autotrophic or heterotrophic. Reproduction is sexual or asexual. And phylogenetic relationship is what? Evolutionary trained. Phylogenetic relationship what? Evolutionary trained. Evolutionary trains. So on the basis of all these four characteristics, Whitaker defined whole entire living organism into five kingdoms. So that all the points may also be a part of UPSC civil service examination. What are the basics of Whitaker under the five kingdom system of classification? So one, two, three, four, all were correct. These are the all organisms, all the kingdoms that you can see on the screen. And here are all the screens that you can see here, guys, like Monera, Protesta, Fungi, Planti, and Animalia. Protesta, if you see the cell types, Monera, Protesta, Monera, Protesta, Fungi, Planti, and Animalia. Okay, there is various examples, guys. In the case of Monera, I have uh, many examples like bacteria, you know, bacteria type of organism are the part of Monera. Not only bacteria, even cyanobacteria will also be part of them. So bacteria, cyanobacteria, they all are the part of Monera, guys. Cyanobacteria, they are the part of Monera, guys. 
In the case of uh, monera, like they are the prokaryotic organisms. In the protista, you can see like protozoa type of organisms. Protozoa type of organisms. They are the example of a protista. Fungi, you know, many of the fungi like mushroom, agaricus, you know, many of them. Plant is the plant, and animal is animal, everybody know. If you see all the animals, your plants, your living organism, I am telling you. So these are the five kingdoms that you can see on the screen. Monera, the cell types, they have a prokaryotic cell. What are the prokaryotic cell? You already know very well. Okay, it's a very primitive cell. But protista, fungi, planti, animalia, all are the part of eukaryotic cells. Eukaryotic cell, as I told you earlier, guys, eukaryotic is very advanced cells. Next one about the cell organization. So cell organization, if you see, guys, so like uh, monerans are the unicellulars. Protestants, they are the protestants, they are also mostly unicellulars. Fungi, they are the multicellular and maybe unicellular also. Planty, they are the multicellular, they are made up by many, many cells. And animalia, you know very well that we all are the examples of animalia. We are all the also multicellular body or multicellular organisms. Next one, if you go into the discussion of cell wall, guys. Cell wall present in most of the organisms. Bacteria have cell wall, cyanobacteria have cell wall. Uh, in the case of protista, it is present in some of them, but absent in the other. So here 50-50 type of condition. In some organism, you can see the presence of cell wall. Other organism, you will see the cell wall not there. Fungi, cell wall present. Planty, cell wall present. And that is the main characteristic of the planty of the cell wall, guys. Animalia, see, are animals, cell wall totally absent, guys. And it was the question paper of 2020 prelims. That animal have a cell wall, outermost covering. Uh, sorry, plant have a cell wall, outermost covering. But in animal, cell wall totally absent. If you go into the mode of nutrition, if you go into the mode of rotation, so what about the mode of rotation? In the case of Monera, they are phototrophics, heterotrophics, and chemoautotrophics. So mode of rotation is a phototrophic, heterotrophic, and chemoautotrophics. Now the question is, what is a phototrophic? Phototrophic means in the presence of sunlight, they synthesize a food material. Heterotrophic for the nutrition, they are dependent on other organisms. Chemoautotrophic means some of the chemical compounds they are responsible for the for the food synthesis into the into the plant into the into the living organisms. So chemo means some chemical synthesis are responsible, not even the photosynthesis or any other organisms. Here some chemical compounds are responsible for the synthesis of food material into into the living organism itself. Here what happened in the case of protista, heterotrophic, they are dependent on the other organism for the nutrition. Phototrophics in the presence of sunlight, they synthesize a food material. Fungi, they are totally parasites, they are totally saprophytes, so they cannot synthesize own food material, so they are completely heterotrophic. Plants, they have chlorophyll, that's why they are phototrophics and they synthesize the own food material. Animalia, animals, you people know very well, we all people are the example of heterotrophic animals. So animalia is a heterotrophic guys. Mode of nutrition, which type of nutrition in the monera? Monera have an absorbent type. Absorptive type means any of the food they are going to absorb slowly and gradually. Protesta either absorptive or ingestive. We human beings have about ingestive type. Directly we take a food inside the mouth and engulf them. Chewing and then engulf them. Fungi have what? Fungi only absorptive type. Planty mostly absorptive type. From the help of root, they absorb the nutrients, water and all. But in the case of animal, mostly you get that they ingest the food, not they absorb. Now that how interesting it is. I'll put my hand and slowly gradually my food will absorb. No, no, no. We people have an ingestive type. We are taking intake of food and then it is going to digest slowly and gradually. Motility, movements. See guys, in the case of monodons, motile and non-motile, both type of conditions are there. It means bacteria, cyanobacteria, that type of examples. Some of them even they move, some of them not move. What about protestas? They have a motiles and non-motile, both type of conditions. Fungi always fix, they are non-motile and they were taking the nutrition from the other organism, as I told you, due to the heterotrophic nature. Planty, they are mostly non-motile. Wherever the plant available, they will fix there. Animals, mostly motile, they will move from one place to another place. And locomotion is the main characteristics of animalia. Now, after the Whitaker classification, I'll go to the next concept that is called microorganisms. As you know, guys, in the case of living organism, I spoke to you earlier, there are three groups of the living organisms. There are three groups of the living organisms. The one that is plant, the second that is a animal, and third that is a microorganism. Here in this part, I brought a topic of discussion of microorganisms. After microorganisms, we'll go into the discussion of plants and then we'll go into the discussion of animals. So microorganisms, the two microorganisms, you can see here the mycoplasma and viruses. And another two microorganisms, you can see here like bacteria and archaebacteria. They are the another example of monerans, guys. Okay, they are another example of monerans. So now come here. Here I'll discuss with you about the mycoplasma and virus. And next lesson, I'll discuss with you the bacteria and archaebacteria. 
बटेर आर की बटेर एज अ लेंदी टॉपिक इट विल टेक टाइम तो बेटर आई विल टेक अ सेपरेट वीडियो टू कवर इंटायर मोनरल्स सो वॉट इज अ माइक्रो प्लाज्मा द फर्स्ट पार्ट दैट आई टेल यू दैट इज वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग माइक्रो प्लाज्मा इज द स्मॉलेस्ट लिविंग ऑर्गनिज्म इन द वर्ल्ड all plants all animals all microorganism any of them if you see which one is the smallest one that last to so the answer is mycoplasma so this is the reason i'm telling you mycoplasma is a smallest living organism in the world mycoplasma is also called as a pplo what is pplo pleuro pneumonia like organism so those bacteria are responsible to cause the pneumonia the look and appearance of mycoplasma is like that that's why it is called pleuro pneumonia like organisms even mycoplasma is changing their own shape shape size is structure and that is the reason it is also popularly called as joker of plant kingdom so mycoplasma is also called as a joker of plant kingdom because mycoplasma is changing their own shape and structure every moment of time what is the l form of bacteria very simple guys due to changing nature of shape and size okay this is a similar type of l form of bacteria so in which type of bacteria the mycoplasma is very similar to then the answer is l form of bacteria mycoplasma if you see the genetic characters the genetic character in the mycoplasma is nucleic acid is what DNA. So, which genetic character into the into the mycoplasma? This is DNA. Even mycoplasma is causing various diseases to the plant body. Mycoplasma is causing various diseases to the plant body. Which type of disease mycoplasma cause? See guys, chlorosis, dwarfism, little leaf disease of angel, witch's broom, is stunting. You know, all the diseases are caused by mycoplasma. What is the meaning of chlorosis, guys? Chloro means chlorophyll. Cis means death. So death of chlorophyll happen. If death of chlorophyll happen, so plant leaf will turn from green to yellow. What is the meaning of dwarfism, guys? Dwarfism means the height of plant reduces. Little leaf disease the brinjal means what? The the size of the brinjal leaf reduces. And here in that case, the productivity of the plant decreases. And I will tell you guys, it is most important examples that I have seen many of the example in many of the examinations. or okay, many of the places this example i have seen many places i have seen the example in many examinations little leaf disease of brinjal is caused by mycoplasma which is broom is a fruit infection somewhere is stunting means overall the growth of the plant reduces so these are the various problem even occur due to mycoplasma into the plant body but again i repeat mostly they cause the disease into the plant body now we'll go to the next to about viruses two question on the viruses base i have seen the one in 2013 and second in 2021 in 2013 a question came among this these organism which one are not decomposer decomposer then the answer was viruses viruses never be decomposers viruses never be decomposers viruses never be decomposers everybody remember there are two terms here i want to use in the beginning virion and virus virion is the inactive form of virus and virus is the active form of virion whenever a virus is going to cause a disease then it is called virus and if virus is inactive then it is called as virion the virion is inactive form of virus and virus is a active form of virion and see one thing more guys one thing more guys who discovered the virus then the name of person is a ivanovsky ivanovsky has discovered the virus you should know guys viruses are the connecting link between living and non living it means some of the feature of viruses have a living type and other feature of viruses are non living type what kind of feature of viruses are non living type viruses have a anaerobic respiration they do not have a mitochondria like cell organelle and this is the reason viruses are called cedar as in the absence of oxygen okay viruses have ability to generate energy and all so viruses are non living type we can crystallize viruses in the laboratories under certain artificial conditions see guys not actually artificial condition actually some living organisms in some living organisms okay in some living organism viruses grow okay this is not actually the accurate more accurate informations as somewhere it is written but not more accurate i'm telling you not more accurate everybody remember the reason is guys as in the case of covid you all people know very well we all people die because of covid okay and when the person die viruses become inactive why inactive because viruses take a nutrition from the living host but this is the reason guys after death of the person in the in the case of covid doctor never give the dead body why whenever you people touch the dead body of any organ any human beings that even die because of covid now your skin is living you your body is living when you touch the dead body guys the viruses will touch on your body and the viruses become active on the living host and this show the viruses become active in the living host as a virus are living and there are more information about viruses that viruses have a lot of enzymatic activities and all that enzymatic activities like to the human being type living organism type and here it is showing like viruses are living so what about the living and non living feature of viruses i hope everybody clear 
Now, if you go into the structure of viruses, so viruses are generally made up by protein coat and nucleic acids. See, suppose this is a virus. Suppose this is a virus. This is one of the virus, those structure I made it. Tobacco mosaic virus, this is one of the specific virus. Suppose this is TMV virus, tobacco mosaic virus. The outermost covering is called capsid. So it is made up by protein. And capsid is made up by many of the small, small units that is called capsomere. Many is called as a capsomere. But I am not discussing you about the example of uh, tobacco mosaic virus. But the outermost covering is a protein made covering that is called capsid. Inside have a nucleic acid. This nucleic acid, if it may be of DNA and RNA. And that is a UPSC question, not UPSC, sorry, in state pieces question I have seen. Which nucleic acid in the virus? The A option was DNA. B option was RNA. C option was DNA and RNA. And D option was DNA oblique RNA. Was DNA oblique RNA. So DNA, RNA, DNA and RNA, DNA oblique RNA. The correct answer is DNA oblique RNA. Any of them will be there. I just want to tell you one more statement that is very, very important. Actually, those viruses are very dangerous. They are generally, they have a generally RNA nucleic acid. Even most of the viruses, those are very dangerous to the human being. See, hepatitis B, they have RNA virus. So, their nucleic acid is actually RNA. And this is the reason it is also very, very important. Everybody remember. Oncovirus, cancer-causing virus. HIV, you know very well. Poliomyelitis, bird flu, that strain is H5N1. Swine flu, that strain is H1N1. Bird flu, that strain is H5N1. It was around 2017, 16, 17, prelims question paper. H5N1 is what? That is bird flu. H1N1 stain is what? Swine flu, dengue virus, Ebola virus, you know, SARS virus, chicken guinea virus, human papilloma virus, everywhere have a RNA virus and RNA virus always very, very dangerous. Even if you see the viruses in the nature, guys, there are different form of viruses in our surroundings. That viruses are called viroids. These viroids are prions. These are the bacteriophage. These are the satellite virus. So there are different form of viruses we even present in our surroundings. And all have a some small, small characteristics. Some have differences. So now the question is, what are the viroid, what are the prion, what are the bacteriophage, and what about the satellite virus? See guys, viroid always popularly called as naked virus. Why naked virus? As you people have seen in the case of virus, protein coat is there, okay, proton coat is there and nucleic acid also there, in either DNA and RNA. But viroid is that virus where protein coat is not there. And those nucleic acid is there, that nucleic acid is, is a RNA. And this is the reason viroid are also called as a naked RNA. Viroid are also called as a naked RNA. So, viroid is also called as a naked RNA. Reason, they have not a protein coat, but nucleic acid. So, if not have a protein coat, so what is other? Other thing, but capsid is not there. That is a very common feature in all viruses. Okay, another one guys, viroid causes a various diseases into the plant body. And which disease viroid causes? Then the answer is cauliflower mosaic disease. Which disease viroid causes? And the answer is a cauliflower mosaic disease. Next one, you come into the discussion of prion. There is one more form of viruses. Prion have a protein coat, but nucleic acid not known. Exactly the vice versa future of viroids, you will get in the prions. Viroid protein coat is not there. Prion protein coat is there, but nucleic acid is not known. Here, nucleic acid is RNA. Okay, even prion causes the diseases into the animal, guys. And generally, I will tell you, they affect the nervous system of nervous system of animal, guys. They affect the brain and nervous system of the living organism. Prion, they cause the mad cow disease. Prions, they cause the koru disease. Prion, they cause the Japanese encephalitis. All the diseases, all the diseases here, here, somehow they affect the neurons and nervous system. So this is the everything guys. But one more statement I just want to tell you. Here you see two more uh, viruses are mentioned there. The one is a bacteriophages. I just want to tell you guys, viruses even infect many other animals also. Okay, like viruses causes infection to the to the to the fungi. Viruses affect to the to the algae. Viruses affect to the bacteria. If a viruses affect to the fungi, then it is called as a mycophages. Most of the viruses not, but some of the viruses they take the nutrition from the nutrition from the fungi, and that's why they even causing the disease on the fungi. Algae that are called that are called that is called there is mycophages. Here, this is called cyanophages. Here, this is called cyanophages. So, viruses also kill the algae and all. Bacteria, if viruses killing them, they are taking nutrition there, then it is called as a bacteriophages. Bacteriophages. Okay, and bacteriophages, it is the news, guys. It is available in the Ganga River. 
and this is the reason the Ganga river is not going to deteriorate okay not even having a smell why not even having a smell the reason is the bacteria if any of the bacteria is in the water bodies that try to decompose the waste material those are going to put inside the inside the Ganga river the viruses kill them okay bacteriophages actually bacteriophages kill the bacteria and that's why the bacteria not decompose the water so what have water have a not smell as water is not going to deteriorate so contamination into the water but the water is not going to expire so bacteriophages and that was also upsc questions that was a upsc question around 2016 17 upsc prelims upsc has virus infect which type of organisms the virus infect every type of organism plant and animal to you already know very well cauliflower mosaic disease you people have a many diseases you can see on the screen what is a satellite virus satellite virus is a very miscellaneous case actually certain virus have a need of other virus see very interesting certain virus have a need of other virus why certain virus have a need of other virus for own replication for own replications for own replications and this is the reason due to this reason this type of viruses which are taking the another viruses for the replication is called as satellite virus you remember this type of virus is called as satellite virus so this is the everything about the virus in the next lesson i will discover to you about the monerals this is the telegram channel where i'll advise to all of you regarding the pdf and all the video links kindly follow me here there's one stop solution to everyone forever guys my unacademy if you are want to follow me my all the classes from zero to hero level hero level is up to advanced level okay all the plus classes static classes advanced class everyone even a lot of the paid and free courses you people follow me here that is one stop solution to all of you my code is ravi upsc during joining any courses if you use it you will get extra 10 percent discount physical notes are going to be an iconic only offering soon and now the hooray get the physical notes with the plus R plus combo substitution before 26 August 2022. And a countdown has begun. Now don't forget it. Subscribe. UPSC CSC next batch is going to start from 25th August 2022. So kindly subscribe, kindly purchase this course as soon as possible. And now if you use the UPSC code guys, so you will get extra 10% discount. So one year, two year courses both are there. Regarding 0% EMI facilities, an academy is giving you the loan facility if you want to join it to kindly use the number 85858585 upsc csc super combat is the next uh, combat on the 21st august 2022 11 am don't miss it guys and join it as soon as possible and kindly use the code rabi upsc enroll now an academy priyas 2022 offline main smoke test is going to organize between 22nd august to 25th august 9 am to 5 pm as per the upsc schedule we are going to organize total physical test mains test and one thing more can be enroll now to delhi jaipur and lucknow center csc assure is the option if you are going to purchase a courses of two years or ever subscription tony academy is ready to help you another extra extension regarding your preparation if it is required condition apply optional carnivals and academy is also giving you as you guys know very well option is a very important uh, course for all of you guys regarding optional you will cannot go and select this examinations so an academy is also helping in the optional courses regarding joining it the number is mentioned there you can call them directly my courses of science tech and environment are running now regarding the courses you can follow me on an academy on the plus courses and during enrollment call the use rabbi upsc code this is my contact number if you have any doubts any classes any discussions so you people can directly call me on 7825860259 so thank you everyone kindly subscribe the channel like and share this video download this video from telegram group and kindly use the bell icon for the further notification in the coming future. So thank you everyone guys. Meet you soon in the next class with some new other topic. Take care of yourself. God bless you. Jai.